Hello all, this is Collector Man, and I collect all things movie, TV, and entertainment related, including horror. And I'm doing a review today, and that is for a movie called Nanny McPhee. And this was released in 2005, and it is a family fantasy comedy film. And it has an amazing cast. You have Emma Thompson, of course, need I say more. Colin Firth, who I became a huge fan of after seeing him in such films as this, The King's Speech, and The Kingsman films, as well as a few others. Um, Imelda Staunton, who I know as Dolores Umbridge uh, from the back half of the Harry Potter film series, and Angela Lansbury, um, who is, of course, amazing. And... This film is basically about a widower named Mr. Brown, played by Colin Firth, and his seven very naughty children. And this film opens with the children being very naughty. They have uh, driven away the 17th nanny by convincing her that they have eaten the baby. And how do they convince her that they've eaten the baby? Well, they hide away the baby, and they take a baked chicken and they take the legs off of it and they put the baby's socks on the ends of the chicken legs and start eating them. Uh, it's a pretty funny and uh, pretty daring and pretty um, gross scene a little bit. And so this frightens her away and she goes running off to Mr. Brown's place of employment which is the local funeral parlor. And, of course, this gets him all into a tither, and he runs home to see what sort of shenanigans his children have gotten into next. And he finds out that, of course, the baby is fine, and this is just all a trick to get rid of another nanny. So this upsets Mr. Brown, and he, um, he sends all the children to bed without supper, and he immediately goes on the hunt for a new nanny. So he goes into town to um, Nannies of Distinction which is um, the local nanny establishment. And he is told that they are all out of nannies. They have gone through all of the nannies. And uh, this upsets him, and then he walks away. But through the slot in the door, he hears a voice. And it says, the person you need is Nanny McPhee. So he becomes aware of Nanny McPhee, and a few days later... There is a knock at the door, and this ends up being Nanny McPhee, and she comes right on time because the children are being very, very naughty. They are, in fact, in the kitchen raising hell, and Mrs. Bletherwig, the cook played by Melda Staunton, is very upset by this because she has it in writing that the children are not allowed in her kitchen. So Nanny McPhee comes in, and she sets things right, and um, she talks to Mr. Brown, and she finds out that the children are in need of five lessons. And it comes to find out that if the children need Nanny McPhee, but no longer want her, then she must stay. But if they want her, but no longer need her, then she must go. So those are the rules for Nanny McPhee. And so, um, Mr. Brown is under a lot of financial pressure. He is a widower, and he has seven children to take care of. He does have some help at the house from a cook and a scullery maid. And there does seem to be a little bit of romantic interest between Mr. Brown and the scullery maid, which may come into account later on. But there is also Great Aunt Adelaide, played by... Angela Lansbury, and um, she's been helping along financially for a while, but now she's put her foot down and she's told um, Mr. Brown that he must find a wife for the children before the month is up or he's financially cut off. So this panics Mr. Brown, of course, to try to find someone to marry in the next month, and Nanny McPhee, um, rather... Aunt Adelaide put some added pressure on Mr. Brown by sending him a note um, saying that she'll be coming for tea one afternoon 
with the express interest of easing his financial burden. So he's hoping that Nanny McPhee may give him um, some money or something to that effect. But as it turns out, her dastardly plan is to um, basically kidnap one of his children and give it a home with her at Stitch Manor. And Angela Lansbury's performance is fantastic. Out of all the fantastic performances in this film, she probably really takes the cake. Um, she's very short-tempered and to the point and very funny about it. Um, she also has a prosthetic nose, which makes her look like a nutcracker. And it's just always fun seeing Angela Lansbury on screen. She really doesn't get enough uh, juicy character roles to really sink her teeth into, and this is really one of those. So if you like to see Angela Lansbury... Uh, really give a fun performance. Uh, check this out. So the way things go from there is in the scramble to find a new wife, uh, Mr. Brown picks someone who is not the best fit, of course, um, in a scramble to find someone in that short of a time. And um, he ends up uh, calling on um, a woman who has had five or six husbands already and they've all passed away and she is a very annoying lady and she's also we find out behind the scenes that she's also um, very mean and nasty to the children and um, so that's all I'll tell you about the plot I don't really want to give everything away in case you haven't seen this great film um, Nanny McPhee like I said, it has an amazing cast of, of actors uh, that you should really check out. And also, this film has an amazing score by Patrick Doyle. Um, he also scored such films as uh, the 2015 version of Cinderella, um, Brave, as well as Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, and um, a whole slew of others um, he's composed the music for. And... One of my favorite tracks, probably my favorite track on the Nanny McPhee uh, score soundtrack is Snow in August, and I will be linking that in the description below if you would like to check it out. Um, it's also on my Music I Love playlist um, if you'd like to check that out. And I will also be linking my social media accounts. Um, this is the first time that I'll be doing this. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I'd love to have you, and I would love to see you uh, for my next video, and hope you all have a good one.